Hello everybody, this is General Expert and uh, today I have a very popular product on Amazon. It is a wall mount. It's like a really uh, close flush wall mount for a TV. Um, now this says that it goes uh, from 32 inches to 65 inch TVs, which is virtually all uh, most TVs out there that, that we all own. But uh, you can see here the brand is Cheetah. And um, when I was doing my research trying to find a good cheap wall mount, this is the number one uh, one on Amazon with the most sales. And it was also the cheapest. I just wanted to go through what this product is and how it comes packaged and what you can expect when you buy something like this. Um, because obviously a lot of us are thinking, you know, for, for $28, what do you get? You know, for under 30 bucks, what do you get versus the ones you can buy at your uh, local brick and mortar uh, electronic stores that cost anywhere from, you know, $50 on up to $150. So what's the difference? Well, I'm going to show you um, what this is, at least. Uh, I can't really, you know, comment on uh, those, you know, really expensive ones because I don't own one. I've never purchased one. This is the first wall mount I've ever purchased. But I'm going to take you through uh, what this thing looks like and how it goes um, on the install. Okay, so first things first, let's open the box. Okay, so the first thing I just pulled out of the box is this really long uh, package of all, it looks like all the bits and pieces and screws and mounts and washers and, and all that stuff, which looks good to me. That looks like they are caring about their packaging and making sure that pieces aren't getting lost. But this plastic feels pretty thick, so I can pretty much bet that all the pieces are here, which is a good sign. Now the next piece I'm pulling out here is actually an HDMI cable. Um, I already have plenty of these, you know, you can get them fairly cheaply nowadays, but hey, they're through on a free HDMI cable, I'll take it. The next thing I'm pulling out is a little level, and this is really just probably more like a one-time use level. Um, just to make sure if you don't have a level, uh, you don't need to go out and buy one. This will definitely do the job to make sure that when you install this uh, TV mount that it is level. Okay, so this is the rest of the box, which is all the little pieces um, you can see. Basically all the little brackets and, and things that hold this, that, that make up the mount itself. Okay, so one thing I wanted to show you here was this bracket. Um, this is the top bracket that I just put together. Hopefully you can see here in the middle where these bolts are. This is actually uh, two pieces that come with all the hardware and you basically have to bolt it together. Um, you can see it says up and kind of shows you um, exactly where things need to be. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just put the bolts in the holes. The bolts are all there. Let me show you on, uh, so this is the top bracket. This is the bottom one, and this is how it comes in two pieces, one and two. And you can see they already have the bolts um, pre-installed. Um, this side with the little connecting plate is already tightened down pretty tight, but you're going to want to make sure you go over it again. Um, these bolts and screws are, are actually left loose because you're going to have to take them off and use them to connect, you know, to the other side. Very, very self-explanatory. Um, you just take it apart and, you know, put it back together. Okay guys, so there it is. That's the actual plate that is going to go up against the wall. And as you can see, the two bars that I was telling you about, the, up, the lower and the upper, um, they're attached with this uh, little plate here. All the bolts are, you know, there, right there for you, um, pre-installed, so you can just unscrew them and screw them right back in. Um, really self-explanatory, but you are going to need to look at the directions just to confirm, you know, which ways like all these little pieces go because you can put them in wrong if you don't pay attention to the drawings. But uh, I'm trying to show you here. These little uh, 
pieces here on the sides. Um, these come with a screw in each end. Uh, and all you do is unscrew that screw, stick them in there, and as you can see, it goes on the inner side of this of the upper and lower bracket and the screw screws right in the top there and screws in and catches this uh, vertical uh, bracket so same thing on both sides um, sorry it's black I know it's kind of hard to see but that's the basis of it right there um, there are still a few more pieces which are these uh, you know which I have not got that far yet so I don't exactly know how these things work but it, it does look pretty basic um, as far as strength and the steel thickness and quality can you know can this hold your TV like yeah no it should be no problem um, this steel uh, it's all metal obviously steel and it seems pretty thick um, I would not think at all in any way that this would give away I mean this seems really strong it seems like it would do the job no problem, so I don't think there's going to be any problems with that. The main issue is just getting it put together and installed. All right, guys, so I, um, this is the space that I'm going to be installing. Let me step back here. Um, you can see it's a fireplace and the TV is going to go um, right there, right above it. Um, and so I, you can probably see, let me see if I can point to it, right above my finger there. There's the uh, little mark of the center. Um, let me get closer so you can see there. You can kind of make that out, but that's the center stud. And my studs are 16 inches apart, which this kit says that uh, you can install on 16 inch studs and also 24 inch studs. The difficulty that I'm facing is that my center stud is centered. so. Each stud on each side is 16 inches off, um, and unfortunately this bracket is only so wide. It's not, I mean, centered, there's not 16 inches on both sides. So I'm now having to figure out how I'm going to be able to mount this because what I'm guessing is that they really want, you know, this thing to be mounted, you know, between the studs, not necessarily uh, do you kind of get what I'm saying? If I, let me put that directly in the center there. So actually here's one of my studs here and you can see that it doesn't quite, it's not long enough to be able to reach the stud to be able to bolt a hole through. And the same thing goes on this side. Um, where's my stud? My stud's right about there and you can see it's not long enough. So that's, that's if this is centered um, on the mantle. Unless this thing can be mounted off center and the TV still hung center, if that makes any sense to anybody. All right, guys, so I got this bad boy up, and uh, you know, it, being that this was my first time installing one of these, sure, it took me longer than I would have expected, but uh, it didn't really. I mean, it's not that difficult when you really think about it. You're just attaching a couple brackets to the back of the TV, attaching the bracket to the, uh, the, the wall, and then you are just hanging it. That's it. A um, couple things I've noticed. I have it at its fullest tilt, and uh, because it's so high and, you know, the couch is there, um, so I, I wanted it at its fullest tilt. So that is the fullest tilt, but it really isn't because there's actually a, uh, see if you can see back here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you. I might have to just show you a picture. So there you have it guys. That is the uh, wall mount by Cheetah. Uh, the number one bestseller according to Amazon. Um, and I did finally get the wall uh, bracket and everything and the TV mounted uh, fully seated. Um, and there you can see it's at full tilt, I believe, which is 15 degrees. Um, but you can see the bottom edge of the TV is actually resting on the wall. So fully tilted. Um, and it, it actually looks great. I did have to make some custom little 
kind of bends in the bottom of the um, wall portion of the mount in order to get the TV portion of the mount to fully seat into the wall portion, if that makes any sense. But um, you'll see some pictures there and, and kind of get what I'm talking about. But uh, kind of what was going on is when you fully uh, tilt the bracket at the, I think the 15 degree tilt, um, it kind of removes some of the slack that you had. And the only way to do that, because it's so flush, is before you hang it. So you have to, you know, basically install everything at its fullest tilt and then hang it. And at that point, there's no room to, um, you know, let the bottom uh, slide in. This is the general expert here on YouTube. And this is the Cheetah wall mount uh, installation and review. And um, everything seems to be nice and sturdy and firm. And I definitely recommend this to anyone wanting a flush wall mount that is fairly cheap um, and easy to install. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and thumbs up for me. I'd really appreciate it. Peace out.